Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to Power Virtual Agent and Q&A Maker Step by Step series. You are watching the first part of this series and in this session I am going to talk about how you can build the knowledge base with the help of Q&A Maker to build Q&A or FAQ chatbot that will be integrated with Power Virtual Agents. So let's get started. Before we get started, let me talk about the agenda for this session. In this, in the first part of this session, we will be talking about what is QNA Maker and what is Knowledge Base. Then we will be talking about how we can import HR FAQs to QNA Maker in order to build Knowledge Base. Then we will train and publish our QNA Maker Knowledge Base. And at last, we will be testing some FAQs inside the QNA Maker. This is the overall agenda for this first session. From next session, we will be going with Power Virtual Agents and the integration of the QNA Maker knowledge base. So stay tuned throughout this entire session journey. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the first topic that what is QNA Maker. QNA Maker is a cloud-based natural language processing service that allows us to create a natural conversational layer over our data. This is used to find the most appropriate answer for any input from the custom knowledge base of information. QNA Maker is commonly used to build conversational client application which includes social media application, chatbots and speech enabled desktop application. So here we have used the term knowledge base. So now let's talk about knowledge base. QNA Maker basically imports your content into a knowledge base of question and answer pair. So it is nothing but a question and answer pairs. Once you publish your knowledge base, a client application send user's question to your endpoint and QNA Maker service processes the question and respond with the best answer. So if I summarize both of this term QNA Maker and knowledge base, it is something like a question and answer a pair will be stored into knowledge base. Now what happen here is end user will ask a question in natural language and our knowledge base will respond based answer from our endpoint. So this is something that is the overall summary about QNA maker and knowledge base. Now let me talk about how we can get started with QNA maker. So first of all, we need to access this URL www.qnamaker.ai or even in the Google, you can simply search for QNA Maker and you will be finding the first link of it. Just click on that. This will be open this type of UI for us from where we can start with QNA Maker and Knowledge Base over here. Now let me talk about what we are going to build with our QNA Maker and Knowledge Base over here. So first of all, let me open up my Word document file here. So basically in this entire session series, we are going to build a chatbot for HR FAQs or HR QNA. So basically, let's say for an example, in most of the site, we have seen one type of chatbot that is available, which is automated chatbot where user can enter any question and based on the question, it will find out the answer and send the response to the end user. So basically this type of application we are going to build here. So basically these are the seven questions that I'm going to import in my knowledge base. So basically these are the FAQs for the HR portal. So it has all the information about different types of leaves in the organization like maternity leave, paternity leave, sick leave, how many leaves can employee take in a year or let's say what is the policies or what are the procedure to apply a leave. Everything is available into this FAQ word document over here. So at this moment we have seven question available here. Now what I want to do here is I want to build a QNA maker by importing this word document over there and I want to train my model. So what happen here is whenever a user ask any question in a natural language that will respond best appropriate answer from the knowledge base. So now let me get started with that procedure first. So let's first open QNA maker.ai. So this will open this type of UI to you. Now this is something that um, in order now one important thing in order to use QNA maker you need active Azure subscription available there. So make sure that you will be having active Azure subscription. So in Azure, I already logged in with my account that is Ruvinsha at dsha27.onmicrosoft.com. 
Now I will log in with the same account over here in QNA Maker. So I'm just clicking on sign in. So that will si sign in me with this QNA Maker service. Once you sign in, you will be able to see this type of screen where we have my knowledge base available. When you are logging for the first time, this screen will not be visible for you. Now let me get started by creating a knowledge base from the scratch. So from the top ribbon, click on create a knowledge base. So let's click on that. Now the very first step is that we need to create a QNA service in Microsoft Azure. Now in order to do that, click on create a QNA service. So let's click on that. So basically this will redirect you to portal.azure.com where first we need to create a cognitive service in order to use QNA Maker. Now let's select our subscription first. So I am selecting my subscription as free trial. Now from here you need to select the resource group. In Azure if you already have any resource group just select that resource group. Otherwise, we will be creating a separate resource group over here. So let me just click on create new. So that will create a new resource group over here. So let's create a resource group name HRQNA02. So this is something that I am going to create here with this resource group. So let's just create the resource group with the same name HRQNA02. Now resource group location. So uh, let's set as East US. Now let's apply the name for our cognitive service. So I'm just applying a name HR QNA Boat 02. So I'm just creating a name HR QNA Boat 02. From pricing tier, select free. Then from Azure search location, let's keep as it is. Now from Azure search pricing tier, let's select free. And now this is the app name that has been created and website location will be East US. Uh, rest of the information should be as it is. And now let's click on review and create. So this will show all the information available here. And now let's just click on create. So as you can see that it has started creating the cognitive service for us. This will take some time. And here we are. Our QNA service is deployed successfully into Microsoft Azure. So now let's go back to our QNA Maker page. Now let's refresh this page here. We will be directly going to step 2. Now let's select our Microsoft Azure directory ID that is my account. Then subscription that is free trial. Now here you will be able to see Azure QNA service. So service that we just created is HRQNA Boat 02. So we are going to select that particular service over here. So let's select that. Let's select the language. So basically the language is English. Now let's provide the name of your knowledge base. So from here I am just providing my knowledge base as HRFAQSKB. Now in the fourth step, we need to populate our knowledge base. So basically, it, uh, the instruction is provided here. That now here the instruction has been provided that extract the question and answer pairs from an online FAQ, product manuals, or other files. Supported file formats are .tsv, PDF, DOCX, DOC, and XLSX, containing the question and answer pair in the sequence. Now. From here, what I'm going to do here is I'm uploading the file. So I'm just clicking on add file from here. Now I'm going to upload HRQNA from here. So I will be going to upload document file, but based on your requirement, you can use any uh, FAQ online URL as well. Now from the cheat chat section, let's apply professional because it's a professional chatbot that we are going to build. And now just click on on the fifth tab that is create your knowledge base. So let's click on create your KB. So this will crawl your content, extracting QNA pair and creating a knowledge base for your data. Everything is mentioned into this pop up. Now, as you can see that all the QNA pair has been successfully detected from my word document. So these are the question and this is the answer. And now let's say 
from here you can add alternate phrasing as well so if you have any other question for the same thing you can add that question over here right so I think all seven question has been detected perfectly here now we just need to save and train our data so let's just train our data first so it will updating your knowledge base with the changes you made so it has been trained successfully now let's test our knowledge base and after that let's publish that so let's say I'm just entering hi here so it will prompted me hello in response here now let's say I'm typing any natural language question like how many leave can I take so here we have asked a question which is not a part of the knowledge base it's a natural language question but still it will find the best appropriate answer from the knowledge base and populate here now once we are done let's publish our knowledge base so just click on publish now let's publish this let's click on publish and our knowledge base has been published successfully now these are the information that we are going to use in the fourth part of this series where we are going to integrate our power virtual agents with QA maker knowledge base so make sure that you copy this thing and paste it to safest place in the notepad plus plus or notepad so I am just pasting this information I am just pasting this information to my notepad file so this is how you can build your knowledge base with QA maker now in the next session we will be getting started by developing power virtual agents chatbot so stay tuned to my next session this is Dhruvin signing off see you in the next session if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on Facebook LinkedIn and Twitter also I am uploading daily video related power BI power apps power automate power virtual agents teams and SharePoint daily on my YouTube channel so don't forget to subscribe my channel if you wish to receive daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new updates exclusively on your whatsapp number also if you wish to listen different podcast from different podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more just click on that link it will be redirecting you to this page from here you can listen your favorite power platform related podcast over there so this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.